General Hospital spoiler tease that Charles and Jack is back in town with Jack's holler. Jack is temporarily unable to return to Sunny's current organization. Sunny's knew Jack was the one who betrayed Sunny and Michael. Corinda was the one behind it. At that time, Sunny intended to murder Jax, but then Sunny chose to forgive Jax and chase Jax out of town. Now, with the news, Jason Morgan is back and is suspected of being the man who attacked Antifa Connery. At the same time, Jason is also suspected of being the person who created a threat to Sunny and the crowd in the past. Sunny, the PCPD, and the FBI are actively searching for Jason. It is difficult for Jason to continue to hide without the help of others in this chaotic situation. Sonny will want nothing to do with Dex because Sonny is grateful to Dex who saved Dante when Dante was in danger. Dex won't know what to do next. Jax may think of going after the mysterious person targeting the crowd. Meanwhile, Michael can continue to recruit Jax and order Jax to carry out a new mission. Michael may need Jax to help Jason and protect Jason from a bullet manhunt. Of course, Jax was not allowed to tell Sonny that Dex had a secretly found a safe place for Jason to live. It turned out that Jason had proactively asked Michael for help before. That's when Jason met his son, Danny Morgan. Danny gave Jason as for eight heat. Then Jason convened his son to keep what he had to have seen a secret. At the same time, Jason asked Danny to go to the gate of the Quarterman Mansion to meet Michael. Jason and Michael day took place. During that conversation, Jason wanted a place to hide. Michael initially did not believe that Jason was targeting Sonny and attacked Dante. Now, Michael has reason to be sure of it. Even Colleen Spencer is wanting to help Jason. Both Michael and Colleen were drawn together to protect Jason. Dex continue to be caught off in this conspiracy. Dex know that if Dex takes Michael and Colley side now, Sonny's forgiveness of Dex may never happen because Sonny would argue that Dex was the one to betray Sonny the second time. Sonny distrusted Jason and everyone else, including Dex. Dex knew that if Dex helped Jason, then Dex could go to jail, or if that didn't happen, then Sonny could kill Dex too. Jax doesn't want to be seen as a traitor to Sonny again, even though Jax is a determined like that. Jax will have no other choice. Charleston absolutely wants to protect Jason, the way Michael and Collie are doing. Charleston is Jax's girlfriend, and Charleston is the one who directly advised Jax to return to Chow. Jax can listen to his girlfriend again. Of course, Jax will help Jason when it's come time to prove Jason innocent. In this mission, Dex clearly had no chance to turn back. Dex also knows that Dex has stayed into a mud puddle. And if Michael and Collie don't help, Dex will definitely not be able to get out of that mud puddle. Ultimately, Dex is convinced by Michael, Collie, and Jocelyn to protect Jason. Sonny will know the truth and assume that Dex is Jason a comless and that they are betraying Sonny. Sonny can choose to kill both Dex and Jason if he fights them without hearing any explanation.